What's up everybody? So what you're about to see in uh, this video is going to be getting the probe back up and ready for action. It will be um, uh, just basically video of it idling. We uh, got it tuned for the new compression ratio because it was tuned for 9 to 1 compression before. Now it's back to stock 7.8 to 1 compression. Um, and um, in the process of doing that, we were trying to set up my launch control and we were having problems with getting it to read the clutch switch. So my tuner, um, deals with Mark II Supras, um, mostly powered by 7M GTEs. Um, so his car is an auto, his brother's also got one. So what we decided to do is we are going to build a jumper harness and convert the probe to, um, straight Mega Squirt 2, um, version 3.57. Um, and we're getting rid of the DIY PMP micro squirt. He's going to do this for free, upgrade my ECU to a better ECU, and I'm going to give him my micro squirt module as payment so he can use it as a transmission controller on his car. So um, we got the idle smoothed out and everything on the DIY PMP. Um, we got running a ton better. It's now ready for um, basically a little street tuning, and then we're going to take it and it's going to get a dyno tune. Um, so here really soon, um, we will be doing a dyno tune on the probe, probably do a low 20-ish, 22, 23 pound, uh, pump gas map with low timing, and then we'll throw all the boost at it for race gas, max out the 550cc injector, see what it'll do. I'm guessing at this compression level with the mods that I have, it's probably going to be 330 to 350 wheel horsepower where we'll max out these injectors. And then um, once that's done, I'm going to go run it at the track on wrinkle wall slicks with launch control and flat shift working. And uh, see if I can get a high 11 second pass maybe-ish on this turbo and injectors. And then as soon as that's done, um, I'm going to throw the HX358 blade 56 mil turbo on with either 880cc Dashworks injectors or maybe ID1000s, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then we'll shoot for the moon. Um, I'll put ARP head studs in it, um, probably pull the head back off and have a race port done on it. Um, and then possibly a Delta 272 Camry grind if I can figure out a way to get him to grind it to a little bit higher RPM range because it's for 3,500 is the optimal range for that cam, which is a little low for me because I turned 67, 7,000 RPM, somewhere around there. So, um, yep, enjoy the video. Um, the probe is up and running again. The new engine's together. It's broken in. At this point, it's just going to be uploading the new tune onto the MS2, getting the clutch switch hooked up for launch control and flat shift. And then I'm going to send it on this eBay T04B50 trim at 30-ish pounds maybe on race, race gas. Probably just fucking pull the wastegate line off and give it all the boost. Uh, or just turn it up until it starts surging, turn it back off. Um, I've run 37 pounds on accident before and it surged pretty hard. So I'm guessing 30 to 32 pounds is probably going to be about the max this turbo will do with a 63-hour exhaust. So, um, yeah. The probe is going to do some serious work this year, and then uh, this will probably be the last year with it, and I'm going to move on to a new chassis, something all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive, maybe a Mark III Super or Celic All-Track or something. I don't know yet, but I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, stay tuned for more. I don't know. Got the mad scientist at work. Going to try and get this puppy ready for the dyno. Well, the idle is a lot better than it was. Smoothing out some fuel and timing stuff. Check the timing, it's still dead on. So, uh, alternator is having a little issue with voltage. It seems like it's actually smoking. The alternator is, so the voltage is a little bit low. Need to get that sorted out, but we're getting her done, man. This thing is gonna be a beast, ready for the dyno here soon.